Hello everybody, I'm back with the Alphabetti Spaghetti Challenge. In this episode, we're mainly going to run over the Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, side of things. Um, if I'm briefly touching on the FC Marchfield Donna Howen, uh, we played the other game against FC Leifering. Um, I'll touch more into that when we go into more detail with them. But I did have a interview with SK Sturmgrass, who were are in the Austrian Premier League. So hopefully that goes well. Uh, so I just thought you'd give you a heads up on that um, because I might not be at FC Marshall Don Howen much longer. Um, I did apply for the TSV Hartberg job as well. We're a slightly better team than us and probably have got better finance and better uh, reputation so they might be able to get better players. Uh, and they were actually predicted to win the league and they're in seventh, I think they were. But uh, they couldn't afford a compensation money for me, so that completely out of the bag, and I didn't want to request for it because I do want to stay at the team uh, because I don't want to just lose my job again and have to search for a year to get another job again. Uh, and I'm actually doing well at FC Marchfield, Don Howen. So we will get into the things in this side of things. So as you can see, uh, we pretty much have stormed the European League, League Division C in Group 1. Uh, we beat Lithuania 2-0, uh, Longcar and Kodro scored in those games, and then we beat Armenia 7-0. I didn't even realise that. That's seven different goal scorers in that game, that is mental. Seven different goal scorers in a 7-0 victory, that is mad. Uh, and then we beat Luxembourg 3-0, uh, Haj Gojak and Demirovic beat Armenia 1-0 from a penalty with Kodro. And then we beat uh, Lithuania 2-0. Armin Hozic scored. Uh, we are going to be playing the last game by, uh, against Luxembourg. The group looks like so. Obviously, we've been promoted. Uh, we've absolutely annihilated the group. And I think we have gone up in the world rankings as well, uh, which is all good. I don't know who else has been promoted. Uh, let's just have a look into all the groups. So we have Serbia have, Albania have, uh, and Kosovo have. So that's not too bad. Basically all the better teams in the groups are stormed the group. Serbia are the best team in that group. Maybe Montenegro are a decent team. Albania stormed that group. So there's no one really great in there. Hungary did pretty well, but not good enough. Kosovo only just got out of that group. Finland, Finland uh, are in second. So it could down to come down to the wire on that. I don't know if they played all the games. Oh no, they played all the games. So Kosovo picked it on the last game by the looks of things. That's quite interesting. So yeah, let's get into the game. It's probably going to be around about the same team again. Uh, we have got Vladan Kovacevic in goal, which I think he is a new goalkeeper. So I will show you him. Uh, Vlad. Vladan Kovacevic, he is from Sarajevo, who are in the Bosnian and Herzegovina Premier League. So we have actually got a player who is playing in the Bosnian League, who is Bosnian. Then obviously C. Kalasnic, Katic, Shimonovic and Todorovic, Krunic, Krunic and Gojak, Kodro and Haj and Hozic. Um, and then Demirovic. I think Hozic has played before Armin Hozic. Um, 32 year old from Schalke obviously they're in the Bundesliga um, so yeah and Kalos Kalasnic is starting getting into the team again because he signed for Aston Villa in the end a few years ago for 5.25 million and he's been a pretty consistent player for them he's not doing great, he's getting on a bit now what's going to make it interesting is, is who's going to come through after these because Kalasnic is 33 our right winger's 32 um, and there is a few older players in the squad. Uh, we have got Civic, who plays left-back, who is actually pretty decent as well, but he's 30. So, hopefully, we uh, will do in next well on the other side of things. But our under-21s did pretty well in the tournament. They only just missed out on getting into the uh, under-21 European Championships or something, I think it was. Um, they finished just below, but they were on 15 points, and the team ahead of them were on 18, I think. So, they did reasonably okay. So it looked like we have got some decent young players coming through, fingers crossed. Um, but we shall see. Some players are going to retire eventually. Um, and we're going to have to replace them. 
one of our left, our best left winger retired, and then he, uh, Codrose replaced him basically. Um, so yeah, here we go against the game against Luxembourg. I don't think there's anybody that I even recognise on there. Maybe Chris Engel. Um, other than that, I couldn't tell you anyone. To be honest, uh, let's do pump fists. I can't do that. Let's just pull. I want you to pick off where you left off. Pump the fists. So I have faith in you to do good, like I usually do. That's all good. Have the kick off, and then let's be having you. So basically, I just wanted to fly through this tournament. I don't see it as important, in my personal opinion. Um, it might go Jack. No, okay, they're on the ball. Rodriguez, Todorich with a good tackle. Hosic, Hosic to Kodro. Kodro is doing a run here. Kodro plays it out to Kolasnic. Kolasnic to Gojak. Gojak fires it in. It bounced off the post. Bentis allowed it's offside. Uh, let me get back into things then. The European International League, I don't really see Matt Sias, um competition that I should really put on. Uh, I thought I'd just show you the last game of the tournament, show you how we did, and, and then that's about it really. I think I might do the same with the European Championships and the World Cup qualifiers. Uh, we have a penalty, Hodge is on the penalty. Uh, come on, lads. Come on, Hodge. Go on. Good goal. 1-0 uh, to us at the minute, on seven minutes. Uh, so, yeah, so I'll probably show you... Don't really need to see a penalty, do we? I'll probably show you... If there's any big games, so like if we're in the European Championship qualifiers or the World Cup qualifiers and we're facing like Spain or Belgium or something like that, like a big team game. Um, if not, then we'll probably fly through it, to be honest. Um, because we have done well some of the times, but the last few times have not done great in the qualifiers because we've just been putting a really our group, in my personal opinion, in the World Cup qualifiers and the European qualifiers. We just missed out on the European Championship qualifiers. In the World Cup qualifiers, we did terrible and then started turning it around towards the end. Um, but then I think we had Spain and somebody else really hard in our group as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll just see how we do, really, uh, among things. I'm going to keep the Bosnia job until they get rid of me, pretty much. Because I don't mind doing an international job and going to a team that I've never been before, an obsecure uh, nation, in my personal opinion. And I don't think Bosnia have ever done very, very well. Ozic, Haj, Gojak, unlucky. Um, but I don't think Bosnia have ever done very, very well in a major competition. Croatia had, they did well in real life in the World Cup, obviously, and got to the final. Haj, Demrovic, good goal. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we'll see how we do. Two nil up, smash these as well. I think we, I think we have Kolasnic to Hajj. Hajj just fired a great ball in. Hajj over the top. Demirovic just nods it into the back of the net. Um. So yeah, I think I think we found our formation. I think we found our feet. I think we found some players that are reasonably decent now and have developed. Uh, from when we first started, that was terrible defending. Marvin Martins, what a name. Um, but yeah, I think I think we uh. It's good. It was a good free kick as well, to be fair. It is still that terrible defending on the free kick, but um, yeah, but I think that's what I'm going to do with the international side of things. I think my main focus to begin with was on the international side of things because that was my only job at the time, but now that we are at a club uh, and we could possibly be going to a better club as well, um, fingers crossed we do get the SK Sturmgras job because that will be a massive upgrade um, and we'll be on more money there and we'll be on higher finances and whatever else and that's the idea of the save that's to try and work through the leads not slug it out in the lead too if we lose the job and we and and whatever then we at least we've done at a higher level at a bigger club and if we start doing better at Bosnia then I think we'll start getting offered more job opportunities I have managed to upgrade my uh, coaching badges massively since being at FC Marshall Donahowen. So just being at this club has massively influenced me getting promoted through the ranks and getting my badges up quicker. I, what, I am studying for a Continental B licence, but the first thing I do will do if Eski Sturmgrass sign me up is try and get the B licence. If they don't want to do that, then that's fine, but first thing I'd want to do is try and get up my licenses when it comes to the coaching as fast as possible. 
because obviously I started the save with no experience whatsoever and no coaching badges, and to go from no coaching badges to nearly getting to a continental B is great. And that's just being at a lower end first division Austrian club. Which, if you go back to the first episode, then you'll see all the rules and everything, but the rules are the same. Eventually, will to be a, you win a European Championship and a World Cup with one of the uh, international clubs, and then obviously try and win a Champions League um, or a Euro, uh, try and win the Champions League with one of the clubs on that, and then try and win every single top league in every single letter of the alphabet. And I'm only on A at the moment at Austria. So, yeah, uh, and I'm just blabbing on. I haven't made any subs, and yeah, let's do that. Uh, Kodro has not played great. Hosic hasn't played great. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Kodro off, put Lone Car on, take Hosic off, uh, see if Demirovic can play there. Demirovic can go right wing, Hosic can come off, uh, Kalasic can go up front. And then I think that will probably do. And I might take the right back off, actually. Uh, has MR Dedich ever played for us before? I don't know. I don't care. We're 2 1 up. We've already won the tournament. We've already won it. If they score a goal, we might draw. I'll put a right back on. Long car was a bit injured before the game. So, yeah. Here we go. I'm going to encourage the lads. See if that does anything. But it looks like we're winning 2-1. We've played well in this tournament. Um, and I just thought I'd show you the last game. Show you how we did in the tournament. Uh, and then we will be going up to Group B. So I'm happy days with this. Um, I will probably be coming back. I don't know if we will be at FC Marchfield, Donna Howen. Or we will be at SK Sturmglass. But if we're at FC March or Donna Howen, then obviously I will continue onward on the save and come back for around about three quarter mark of the season. Um suffers a tight Achilles. Um so yeah, and then oh had this thirty two. He's been one of our best attack midfielders. Um and then, obviously, if we do get the SK Sturmgrass job, then what I will be doing is, is uh, in the next episode, if we get that job, then I will just be coming back, new club, new start, episode, whatever it is. I think it's 33 now. This is 32 that I'm on. Uh, and then we will show you around the club, show you the club vision, show you the squad, show you your tactics that I'm planning to play. And then that will be everything involved in it. So, yeah, it was just a quick episode, this one, showing you the European International League Division C, Group 1 we were in. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!